Hey, welcome back to Back to the Basics. We are talking Ethernet. I'm Sean Barr. Let's go. Welcome back. We are talking Ethernet, and we're talking the battle of Token Ring, FDDI, ArcNet, and obviously the winner, Ethernet. So, hey, back then, there was a bunch of different technologies, wiring technologies, things like that that we evolved over time. So one of them being the coaxial cable. And I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but basically you had this coaxial cable, these, ten ba these uh, T connectors that would go into the back of every computer, and it was essentially one wire. It started with a terminator at one end, the wire went to every PC to a T connector, went to every single PC in this, uh, in this cable. And if you had a problem with one T connector, the whole network was down. So that we've come a long way since then, and some of that comes to the advent of uh, twisted pair. So using twisted pair cabling now with a switch or a hub, machines individually connect into the switch or hub, and they get connectivity individually, and they're no longer dependent upon this long single cable. And that brings us to CSMACD, and you may be going, what? is CSMACD. Well, it's Collision Carrier Sense Multiple Access Collision Detect. And so what that's a fancy way of saying, hey, if somebody's talking at the same time I'm talking, how do I back off and wait a random time and then start transmitting again? So it was the way that Ethernet dealt with collisions. And so now that we have switches, switches have isolated the collision domain to the port. So that means hosts connect in, and if there's a collision on that port, it doesn't affect anybody else on the network. And so one of the other things with Ethernet is there is a 100 meter max distance, and that's typically for copper. So that means from the switch to the host or the device is a 100 meter maximum. That's 300 feet for us Americans. And uh, so essentially what you get there is it's due to attenuation and just the, the signaling on the, uh, on the physical medium there. So there's also a technology, which is fiber, which allows us to extend that further, so in, in, the, in the neighborhood of miles. So when we're talking internal to an office or a, a building, typically fiber will connect from your core infrastructure to maybe a closet, and then from the closet it'll connect via copper to all of your endpoints and uh, you'll get connected. So that is Ethernet in a nutshell. If you have any questions or if you've got some ideas for some new videos, make sure you leave a comment. You can tweet us at, at looking point and uh, make sure you like, subscribe. We wanna do more videos for you. Thanks for watching.